Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this predator kind of invisible effect inside Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins easily. So I hope you will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import Seratio file or else we can directly drop our footage onto this project panel. Now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here. Now let's check the preview of this, press 0 for RAM preview. So in order to have this effect first make sure that we don't have any camera movements. We want our footage to be steady. And also we need a clean plate where our subject will be out of the frame. So here you can see we got a clean plate where our subject is out of the frame. Now be on that frame where our subject is out of the frame. Right click, go to time options and freeze frame. Now let me rename this to BG. Okay, let me disable sound, we don't need that. Now again drop your footage onto the timeline just about our background layer. Let me disable sound once again. Now duplicate this by pressing Ctrl plus D or else go to this edit option and duplicate. Now select this above layer, right click and pre-compose. Let me rename this to displace. Okay. Now move forward in timeline and look for the frame where you want to start the effect. So I want to start the effect from this frame where I tap on my hand. So from this frame I want to start that invisible effect to start. So be on that frame and trim it out from this side to till that frame. Let me disable the sound. Okay. Now select this pen tool and let's mask out our character here. So it is not necessary to have our mask perfectly. Just cut out our character or mask out our character here. Rough mask will work. So create a mask around character. Now expand these options, mask options, expand this mask one and enable this mask path. So now move forward few frames. Okay. Now let's adjust our mask here like this. Sorry. So let me select, let me select this point and let's adjust our mask so that our character stays in that mask. Now again move forward. So let me just here a bit so I can move forward. Okay. Now select this entire mask. And just move it here. Again, few frames. Let me move it here. Here again. And let's move it here. Okay. So now let me show you what we got after doing that masking. So let me disable or hide out this both layers. So if you see here we got our character inside our mask nice now press f on the keyboard for mask feather options and let me add feather value of 60 i think 60 would be fine nice now let me bring back these two layers now select this background layer which is our last layer come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this effects and presets here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for a displacement map so select this displacement map in distort and drop it onto our background layer make sure you drop this onto our background layer now in displacement map layer select our displace map select this layer you can see i have renamed this to displace so in this background layer in displacement map layer select that displace and here change it to mask now let me come here to this starting frame now select this both layers press t on the keyboard for opacity options enable keyframe for this opacity move few frames forward in timeline and change the opacity to zero okay so here you can see we got this 
disappear effect here after adding that opacity now again select this background layer increase this horizontal displacement value to 40 and vertical displacement to 40 and enable this wrap pixels around option so now if we play this video we will have that predator kind of invisible effect here so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye